everybody, welcome back to Samsung in a Minute, the channel that trains you on your Samsung Galaxy devices in two minutes or less. And today we're going to be talking about one of the most important things to do the moment you get your Samsung Galaxy phone. Now, contrary to what I just stated, with this one being right around two minutes, there's a little bit more to cover in this video, but it's super important to put it up on this channel. So it might be just a little bit longer than two minutes. So when you first get your Samsung Galaxy device, make sure you guys go through your setup process and you sign in through your Samsung account. Now, if you have not done that, just make sure you go inside of your settings. You're going to scroll all the way down to where it says accounts and backup. Now, inside of accounts and backup, just click on accounts and add in a Samsung account. Even if you don't have one right now, go ahead and create it. Now, the reason why I mentioned that this is one of the more important things to do the moment you get your phone is because sometimes either you lose your phone, you don't know where it is, it could be in your house or it could be also at a theme park or beach or someone picked it up and stole it. Or maybe you got locked out of your phone. You went through your credentials, it doesn't work. You tried your password, fingerprint for some reason doesn't work. As long as you set up a Samsung account on your phone, you can log into your computer and you can bypass all of that and get into your phone because you're still going through with credentials on the computer again, which is your Samsung account and password. Now that your phone is acquainted with a Samsung account, let's go inside of the settings scroll down to biometrics and security. And then even though right here, mine is stated it is turned on, which is one of those things you do have to turn on. You do want to go through the settings and make sure everything else is turned on. Now it will show you what your account is that is logged in. It'll show you the website to go to if you run into issues and you do want to turn both of these on remote unlock is a way that you're able to remotely unlock your phone if you can't get into it. So you do have to put in your credentials to go through. So this is just one security measure. Now that you placed in your pin, you're able to unlock your phone remotely so anywhere you have uh, the access to the internet then right over here you're able to send your last location it allows your phone to send the last location to find my mobile server when the battery falls below a certain level so if your phone's about to die this will send it at least where it was last seen so maybe you'd be able to find it now let's head over into the computer let me show you really fast a few things you're able to do and once logged in i'm just going to move up so you guys don't know exactly where my house is but on the left hand side it'll show you which phone you're looking at or tablet so you can have multiple devices logged in to the same Samsung account so you'd be able to locate it over here on the right hand side you'll be able to have all of your tools so we won't go in depth on all of these because this is Samsung in a minute I just wanted to show you that you're able to ring your device you can lock your phone you could track the location it will find you every 15 minutes or where it's kind of going if someone did steal it you can erase all of your data so no one steals it you can back up your device you can retrieve all of the calls and messages that's been done, and it's usually the last 50 recent calls and messages. You can unlock your phone, extend the battery life, and set guardians. Now, unlock is one of those that's important. This is a way that you'd be able to unlock your phone if you forgot how to get into your phone. So if somebody doesn't know what pin or password was put onto the phone, or maybe somebody did put a pin or password on the phone that doesn't own the phone, as long as you can log into your Samsung account through findmymobile.samsung.com, when you unlock your phone, it'll erase all of that. It'll take away the fingerprint, the password, everything, and you have to reset up all of your credentials to get back in your phone. And then you can track your location, so this way every 15 minutes, um, it's going to see where it's at. So again, if you don't know where your phone is, uh, maybe you can check it out here, and it evidently is inside your house then you can grab uh, this website here and you can ring your phone even if it was on silent or vibrate. And one thing I do want to show you is that when you are logged in to find my mobile and it's requesting all of these locations and everything else, uh, this is just a way to let you know like, hey, you are using find my mobile, you are trying to find your phone and everything else. But I hope that you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit on subscribe. Subscribe right over here on the very bottom left hand side. And if you liked this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later. I got tons of soul on my true collective ball. Famous, so, so famous, number one, desirable. Out of what I want, when I want, and how I want it. Leave you with the one in the air. That's how I roll.